Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotic and today we've got a quite a lot of uh, holiday animals coming in. So we've got a um, holiday axolotl, we've got a holiday leopard gecko, we've got some other bits and bobs to do today as well. Uh, so please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me and we'll crack on with today's job hours. Well, ha ha. So our holiday animals have arrived. We've got ourselves a lovely high-end leopard gecko. And we got ourselves one of our cresties, one of our uh, cresties? It's because I'm by the crestie tank, that's why. One of our axolotls has come back. Axolotl. Doing really well by the size of him. So we've got a tank as well, they brought the tank and everything. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the axolotl first, because that one's the most delicate and it's gonna need the, um, needs to be filled up first. We'll get that one done, we'll get all the lights turned on, then we'll do the leopard gecko, and then we should be raring to go. We've got to check on um, Snappy, see how he's doing, and see how we get on, because we did a lot with him yesterday, so it's a good thing we check on him. First job, we're going to get all the electrics out. Right, there we go. Try not to put the electrics in the tanks, because... Uh, you end up with a lot of water going around and we don't really like water and electrics. It's not a good mix. So I've just put the filter back on. They've literally just gone in and out with the tank, so we should be okay with the water. I've just been and bought some spring water. So we can put that in there. Oh, so we'll open this up, we'll pour it in. we we'll, we'll set all the little hides and houses up. And then we can put her in. So what I'm going to do, we're going to put the bag in and we're going to pour the water around and then we're going to start acclimating it as soon as we can. So we can get the crest, so we can get, I don't know why I keep calling it a crest, we can get the axolotl set up as soon as we can. So we've got a lovely spring water. There's no dechlorinator, there's no nothing. It's perfectly good water to just go straight away in for the axolotl. Got the lovely minerals, absolutely everything's perfect on Monday. So there's one done. Don't need that anymore. Open up another one. Come on. Get out of it. Ah, there we go. I got him. I got him. I'll open him up. We ain't gotta to go too high by the looks of it. I don't I think by the looks of it they don't have the water very high at all. Chopped up a bit more. Lovely. There we go. I think that's good. What we're going to have to do, we move it to where we're going to put it now. And then we can get everything plugged in, get everything going. And then later on today, we'll be able to give him a feed as well once he's settled in. Spot for the tank. Proper happy where it's going to be. Got plenty of plugs and stuff. So we're doing acclimation now, even though we know we've got nice clean water, I don't know how clean the water is in the bag. So we're going to acclimate it for the parts per million, which is the how many particles are in the water and stuff like that, how many like nitrites and ammonia is in the water and stuff like that. So we're going to mix the water together for a little bit while we acclimate him. He's, do, he's been doing temperature for while, while we filled it up and moved it over here and everything. So we'll do that at the same time. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna plug the pump in now, get that blowing around, and then we'll put the lid on and turn the light on at the end, and we can have a little look at him, maybe give him a feed towards the end of the day once he's settled in a little bit. Let's give it a go, where's my plug? There she is. Uh, oh yeah, switch it on, have it out, wouldn't it? Whee, bubbles. There we go, nice bit of flow. That should be lovely. There's plenty of stuff in here to slow the flow down so it shouldn't get washed around. So I'll be back in a sec, we can do an acclimation and we can release her. While we wait for that, we can have a look at our holiday leopard gecko. She is absolutely stunning. I believe she's a temper albino super max snow by the looks of it. Het. Something else. 
Yeah, temper, albino, super snow, het, something else by the looks of that. Absolutely stunning she is. She doesn't like the light though because she's got the albino in her. You can see, albino. Uh, they don't really like bright lights. So we're gonna get her set up in a tank. It's gonna be a temporary holding tank where we do the quarantine sort of thing for them. We don't want anything for that she's got to go to our lizards. We don't want anything our lizards have got have gone to her. I don't, I'd be surprised there isn't, I don't believe there's anything that she's got or anything that mine have got. But just to be sure, we make sure everything is all quarantined up and really good. So let's go get her a little tank. Okay then everybody. So when it comes to leopard geckos and quarantine tanks, I prefer the plastic fanariums. You can give them a good deep clean. You can make sure they're absolutely spotless. There's no cracks or crevices for anything to be living in. I think these are the best ones for doing the quarantine stuff. So because it's quarantine, we're gonna be using tissue on the bottom. So we can see any bad poos or anything like that. And give everything a good once over while it's here. Actually, if I turn this over, it might be a bit better. There we go, that's sitting a bit better. So we want hides at multiple ends. So we've got a coconut hide there. We'll have a slightly larger hide this side. We'll have a water bowl, look quite reasonably large one in the middle. And then we're gonna use this to just make it a little bit more interesting for her. A little bit more going on. Wrap it around some of the hides and the water bowl. Just like so, we'll get ourselves some water. Feeling posh today, we're gonna have spring water today. Nice and steady, Alex, steady. Steady, Eddie, steady. Steady. Oh, done it. Lovely job, oh, oh, oh. So now we can add ourselves a leopard gecko. Look how stunning this leopard gecko is. So impressed with how nice she is. And because she's that albino, she's just got that more sensitive eyes. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I'm darling, we're gonna put you in here. And we'll come back later on today, we'll be able to give you a little bit of a feed. Hey, look how beautiful she is. Lovely shade of brown, almost a yellowy browny orange with the highlights of pink. And you got the, uh, the stripes going down the back. Really nice, absolutely stunning sp uh, specimen. Room time for the water dragon. This is the hard part. We need to get you into the box without you being scared or escaping. That's the hard part it is. So we're gonna put you there like that. Nice little tub. Hello, darling. Hey, can we give you a touch? Oh, let me stroke him. Can we pick you up? Oh, no, not quite letting us pick you up. Here you go. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, no, stay in the box for me. Up, 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 up. Get ready to She's in, she's in, she's in. Okay, I need two hands to put the lid on, just to be sure. But look at that! Off to your forever home, my lovely! Lovely job! To release little Cresty. Why do I keep doing that? It's because I've just sent the, the big the big Cresty we built the tank. I've just sent him off to his forever home. That's why I've been... I've had that in my head, because he's getting collected today and stuff like that. So we've got Mr. Axolotl. Let's release him into his new enclosure. New enclosure, into his tank. Hey, I'm buddy. Oh, freedom! There you go. What do you think of that, my friend? All right, should we get your lid on? What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the light off, though, for this afternoon. I'm just going to let him settle, get used to everything, get used to the tank and the uh, the shop, and then I'll turn the light on after. After, because last thing I want to do is stress him out. Or anything like that. Come on, wire, get off. There we go. Plonk that down. He's nice and safe. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Oh, he's in Squidward's house. That's where he is, in Squidward's house. We may have ourselves a little bit of a problem. I've come doing my checks, got my heat gun, and I'm going around checking stuff, making sure everybody's doing what they should and stuff like that. Um, this tank isn't really putting out much heat. So I've come to it, 
and it's oh, well that the bulb actually on the bulb well ceramic bowl it is 31 there you go proof 31 down here come on you heard it look i don't know why it's saying that now but it was saying 30 down here which isn't hot enough for our little dragon we want at least 34 35 something like that so we need to get in there find the thermostatus turn it up us or maybe look at getting a bigger bulb means we've got to make our way into here well into here and find out where the thermostat is and go from there so this is gonna be fun let's take off all this really awkward stuff to get off Okay, so what we're doing is I found it all and I've got to the thermostat. It's set to 32. Let's ramp it up, see if we can get it up to the right temperature and we can test the bulb, see if the tank's warmed up. Got a dial at the back, so we just put a screwdriver in. Oh, come on. Ah, no, no falling. Okay, so we've got to turn some 32. 33, 35, full blast. That's what we want, 35. We want you raring to go, Mr. Dragon. We want you raring to go, nice and warm. Now, I don't know what's happened to that, but uh, it was definitely on high a month before. I don't know why it's, why it's changed now, but we fixed it. We fixed the problem. So we can put all this back, and I can put it all back together. And in a couple of minutes, we can check and see if this is putting out what it's meant to be putting out. Back in, there we go. I don't know if the bulb was putting out more heat before, Hey, up, up. Uh, we're on the lean a bit. We're on the lean a bit. We sort your eggs. Stay still. Calm down. Up. Wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. Yep, we're square. <laughs> okay, so if I put all this back together, I thought I'd have to take more off. I really did. But uh, just two panels will find out. Take the other one off to have to hook the other one out. So we'll put the top one back in first. Which slot in, and then we should just hook straight back in like that. Absolutely lovely. I'll just check, I'll get one lined up, and then the rest of them should be absolutely in line. Where is it? Back. Where's the hole? Oh, come on, come on, get it in the hole. Get in the hole. There we go. Never had so much trouble finding the hole. Never had so much trouble. Okay, we'll try again. I'm going in. No, we've missed the hole again. And again. Oh, this is not my day today. Oh, found it, we found it. We found it, and then uh, this one, we should be lined up now, oh yeah, straight in. <laughs> one more piece, one more piece, and we're done and dusted, everybody's in, everybody's happy, and then all we've got to do is wait a little bit, make sure the tanks get into the temperature, but I want it to, and then go from there then. Oh. Lovely job. Lovely jubbly, you never know I've been in there. Okay, Mrs. Pinstripe, it's forever home time. Oh, baby, time to go to your forever home. Hello, beautiful. So we need your hide, because they're gonna, they want to take that with them as well. Oh, lovely. Come on, then. There she is, doing well. Hello, beautiful. Look at your markings, man. There we go. Beautiful pinstripe female. After a forever home. 
No coming out the box. You can stick your nose out, but that's it. There we go, lovely job. What I tend to do is I put a bit of tissue in there so the snake can't come through, but the air can still pass through the tissue. Lovely job, off to the forever home. While we wait for that to warm up, let's see what Snappo's doing. Ow. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. So the tank is cleared up, fantastic. So what I am gonna do is do a quick filter clean just to make sure if there's any more in there, we can catch it all out because it's gone crystal clear now the water has since we did the filter clean. And there is our lovely Snappy. Does he eat your fish? Looks like he did. He hasn't attacked the plant, which is good. So yeah, you might be able to give you some fishes today and you might be able to eat them for us. It looks like he ate them once he chilled out. But uh, yeah, there he is, looking good. So I'll do the filter and then get that poo out. We've got some fresh poos and it should be happy chappy. Okay, Snappy, you ready for a fishy? Let's open it up. Got some lovely fishes down here for him. Oh, Snappy. Come on, Snaps. You know you want it. Wow, Snappos. Proper job, buddy. Back eating, back doing everything he should. We'll drop that down for him as well. Oh, Snappy. Let's feed the axolot. Oh. Mr. Axolotl is still living in Squidward's house. Let's see if we can drop this down for him. Oh, there we go, buddy. Look at that. You having some more? There's bits down there. Oh, he's probably having, oh, he's thinking about it, he's thinking about it. You can go and pass the piece to get a piece. Silly axolotl. He's doing really well, I'm happy with that, feeding, fantastic. Back at Little Dragon, let's see how what it's got. What well, hot, okay. So the bulb is now 36, that's good. Hot spot, 32, is that right? It's 33, it's changing temperatures it is. 32, it's better than what it was, it's not quite right. We might have to get a bigger, bigger bulb. Oh, that's now saying 40. I might have to put new batteries in it. Okay, we're getting 33 down there now, that's a better one, that's a better number. And then at the top, 51 on the bulb, so that's better now with the better What's it called? Better bulb. Better, better, better batteries. Cause where's me words? Okay, so I'm happy with that now. Taking out a lot more heat now. So it's keeping raring to go. So we finished the day by giving him some bugs and then we go. Oh buddy, we've got the secret blend of herbs and spices. And we're all ready to go. So let's release some locusts and let you have a feed. That was unclimantic, wasn't it? This is anticlimactic. Oh, you got one. You got one. Go on, little buddy. Munchy munches. Who else can you see? There's one right over there, look. One that way. Go that way. Look, there he is. <gasps> He's got, yes, please. Oh, you're going to go for another one. Go for a big runny one. Spotted it. Out of the corner of his eye, he's seen it. And now no, I'm gonna finish this one first. Come on, buddy, look. He's moving. He's moving. Oh, I got it, yes! Good little dude. I'll let him hunt the rest of them in peace. Look at that cute little face. 
there we go everybody that's everything for today so please like subscribe comment and share ring the bell for me if you haven't already if you want to watch another video there should be one there if you want to subscribe to the channel it's up there if you want to watch a playlist she's up there if you want to support us there's a link in the description below where you click the join button next to subscribe and if you want some snake island merch there's a link in the description below where you can buy snake island merch so i'll see you in the future bye